So today I'm going to be going over what I refer to as my cold weather comforts. They're just some of my favorites that get me through these cold winter months and kind of help with all the recent snowfall we've been having. First I'm going to start with what goes inside my body that makes me feel just a little bit better and a little bit warmer on the inside. I have a couple of teas that are my absolute favorite. First I'm going to start with the Honey Vanilla Chamomile from Celestial Seasonings. This one is really nice. It's very simple, very plain. I usually like to have it before bed. And I very rarely drink this by itself. I actually usually mix it with the Tazo decaf chai. I like the combination of these two together because the honey vanilla chamomile kind of tones down the strongness of the spices in the chai. And it, you know, the chai kind of brings out the sweetness of the honey vanilla chamomile. Next, I have Bronchial Wellness from Gaia Herbs. In the winter time and in the colder months, I get a lot of, you know, sniffles as we all do, and this really helps. It has menthol in it and a whole bunch of other good stuff that makes you feel a whole lot better, plus it tastes really good. Another thing I like to have when it's cold outside is Lipton's chicken noodle soup. <laughs> it kind of makes me feel like I'm five years old again and I'm having a snow day. I just love how it tastes. You know, it brings me back to a simpler time. It's really easy, very salty, but I just like having it. It always makes me feel very warm inside. Next, I have things that go on the outside of my body to make me feel kind of nourished and comforted. And first I have a body scrub and it is the Soothing Touch Body Scrub in Chocolate Peppermint. And for some reason, chocolate peppermint always reminds me of the holidays, maybe because I get, you know, peppermint mochas from Starbucks around Christmas time. But like, I always associate chocolate peppermint with winter time. And I really like this one. It has argan oil and sea buckthorn oil in it, so it's very moisturizing to the skin. It has the bigger granules of sugar, so it really scrubs, it really gets deep down, and it feels really nice, and it leaves my skin really soft because of the oils. Next I have two moisturizers. I have the Waleda Skin Food, which I really only use as a hand cream. I find that it's a little bit too thick to use it anywhere else on my body. And for the rest of my body, I use the Derma E Vitamin E Intensive Therapy Body Lotion. This one is really nice. It's fragrance-free. It kind of has a weird smell. Like, not like it's rancid. Which sounds really awful, because it's definitely not. It's used by May of 2016. But I guess just because of the vitamin E and there's like olive oil in it as well, so it gives it that bit of like an earthy scent. I usually use this on my legs and I don't smell my legs <laughs> very often. You know, I can't smell it from up here, so I don't really mind. It has hyaluronic acid, which is going to lock moisture, and also has green tea, which is going to be soothing to any of those like itchy areas that you might get from having dry skin. Something that also goes on my body are comfy sweaters. These are like one of my tip top things that I have to have when it's cold outside. You know, I don't want to get out of my robe in the morning when it's cold outside, so I really like having a couple of sweaters that I can just throw on that almost kind of feel like my robe that aren't going to make me feel cold and like I'm trying too hard because when it's cold outside and when it's winter I don't want to try at all. I'd rather just stay inside in my robe and my slippers. But these are a couple of sweatshirts that kind of make me feel like I'm still in my robe. This first sweater is from H&M. I like the lower shoulder seam and how the ends are cut. This one is from Forever 21. I love the oversized black and white polka dots. I think it adds a lot of chicness to an otherwise plain comfy sweater. This next one is Karen Scott and I got it from Macy's. I got it in an extra large because I wanted it to be very baggy and cozy. The metallic thread in the sweater adds a nice little glam touch. This sweater I got at Target and it's probably the most fitted of all of my cozy sweaters. I think the heart print adds a sweet girly touch to an otherwise masculine shape. And last, I have the two comfiest things of all when it's cold outside. My slippers from L.L. Bean. I love them. I love them so much. They're so cozy. I've had them for two years, so you can see there's a little bit of wear 
on the back heel but they have kept up great they are so friggin warm I love these so much I'm probably gonna get some new ones probably this year by <laughs> next winter but they're great they're warm they're cozy and I'm obsessed with them and last but certainly not least is a big fuzzy cozy blanket <laughs> I call this blanket my puppy blanket because I think it looks like a Samoyed and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I sleep with it on my bed. It's just so warm. I got it at Target. It was like 14 bucks and it's the best thing in the world. If I could have sweaters that were made of this, I would. I would probably wear those out in public even though I shouldn't. Anyways guys, thanks so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. All that good stuff and I will see you next time. Bye! They're the things that I move. Just some of my favorites that get me through the cold. Ugh. I actually usually just gonna get myself all pumped up. Get myself pumped.